Fit MC. Tubi2t.org is the oldest server in Minecraft. There are no rules. Hack, cheat, steal, lie. Nothing is off limits. Wars, battles, builds, and betrayals have all happened here. As with anything related to 2B2T, viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to the world's worst server. I'm way up in the sky right now, on my way back to spawn. Zero, zero. I'm going to be partaking one of the oldest traditions on 2B2T, the killing of new players. I haven't done this in many months, but I missed it, so I'm on my way back. Let's see who decides to show up. The infinite elytra hack has made horses completely obsolete. We don't need them anymore. gotta be someone around here. I guarantee you there's a rusher, uh, sorry, a new player nearby. There has to be. Oh, would you look at that. Let's do a little swan dive here. Hey, how you doing, buddy? It's your old pal Fit, giving you a 2B2T fish and wildlife welcome. The lag will cooperate. Clown down. Although, unfortunately, now people will know I'm at spawn, so I kind of need to start getting out of here. Not much changes at spawn. It's always a wasteland. Oh! Would you look at that? It's my buddy again. Wow. Second time's a charm, I guess. You didn't learn your lesson the first time. Ha! <laughs> Rest in peace. But yes, a lot has changed over the holidays and going into 2017. I'll explain in a little bit. This server is still feeling the effects of the war last summer. Many smaller groups have tried to rise up, but all have failed. The Vortex Coalition has failed. The Fourth Reich has failed. Aurora has failed. No small group has been able to take power like the previous ones have. And Team Veteran is inactive right now, because there's no war. I'm on my way to the Southern Canal right now to see just how bad the damage is. Wow, there's tons of withers. Oh, and we have someone up. Oh, no way. It's that same person. Oh, this is too funny. The third time truly is a charm. Adios. Yeah, I was thinking of a good one-liner, but after the third time, it's just sad. It's sad to see what the Russia War has done to this place. Ah, the Southern Canal. A 2B2T landmark that stretches for 25,000 blocks. Hours of manpower put into that project, but now the Russians are holed up in there, so I gotta go take a look. Never seen that tactic before. Come here. This ain't your canal anymore. The canal entrance has been griefed so badly it's almost unrecognizable. Only the canal itself remains, but that station is toast. A lot has really changed for me personally on 2B2T, especially over the course of the past half year. Ever since the camping rusher left, a lot of players have begun to resent me. They claim that I'm now the new rusher. 
that I'm a big YouTuber that's bringing players to this place. Russia and I have patched things up since the end of the war. We're on friendly terms now, but... I'm starting to see things in a new light. I don't think bringing new players to this place is the worst thing in the world. I realize how much life has been brought into this place. The only downside, though, is that yes, you are going to get monuments griefed. But that just gives us all the more reason to protect all of these wonderful things in this digital space. But now I'm rambling. The only players that actually dislike me are people that joined with Russia. So they're probably still a little upset I killed their leader last summer. And boy did that feel good. But regardless, I still have to watch out because I've got a target on my back at all times. Like before the war, I wander spawn, kill new players to keep the 2B2T tradition alive, fish to sustain myself, and just try not to die. Just like the way things were a year ago. Still on the patrol as always. Oh, someone was trying their luck near zero zero. Well, hello there. I'm FitMC. I'm with 2B2T Fish and Wildlife. Please stop resisting. This is for your own good. Oh, come on now. Assaulting an officer is an offense on this server. All right, let's get out of here. Come on. There we go. I'm just cooking up some fish that I caught earlier because I was getting low on food. But once this is done cooking, I'm going to show you a new project that's been started at spawn in the past few months. The Water Cube. This is it. The Water Cube. Nothing but water as far as the eye can see at zero zero. This entire cube was made by the redstone genius Disco Ray, using a large variety of redstone contraptions, creating water source blocks at the height limit. And I thought Fitlantis was the lost city underwater. Spawn is the underwater city now, look at all this. But as soon as the water cube was made, it actually made it easier for new players to escape spawn because it meant less walking, less finding food, and with the amount of lag on 2B2T, you wouldn't really drown that easily. You could be underwater for a long time. I mean, look at me now. My air bubbles are barely going down at all. But still, it's almost eerily beautiful seeing spawn like this. Just nothing but water all around. It's a really interesting sight. Wow, I guess the veteran dream finally came true of flooding spawn. Not bad. Oh, we got ourselves another customer. I have to regain my old spawn reputation. I'm gonna make the old players like Baloney Pony and Silver Crown King proud. I'm doing a duty for 2B2T Fish and Wildlife today. Hello there. And goodbye. I hope you enjoyed that axe. Oh yeah, chat's going wild, just as I expected. But now, unfortunately, I gotta run. Chances are, I think I've seen that player talking in chat before. They were at spawn to make a trade of some kind. So chances are they're gonna reveal the coordinates of the place they died, which means a lot of people are gonna be on their way to spawn soon to try and get me. So I need to get away as quickly as possible. But it's really difficult to take off with the elytra in these conditions. The lag is insane right now. I need to find a really good spot. Oh, this looks like one of the bomber canyons. This will be perfect. I just need to activate my glide and get the wings open. All right, here goes nothing. Come on, lag, cooperate, get those wings open. I need to get out of here and fast. All right, come on. All right, now to gain altitude. Jeez, this is like something out of Star Wars right now, like the trench of the Death Star. All right, come on. Good, I'm out. 
Got enough altitude. Now let's cruise. Jeez, you never know what you're going to find at spawning. You never know what's going to happen. Anything goes on 2B2T. There's no law. There's no rules. It's kill or be killed. And it's that simple. Well, anyway, I've survived my first little spawn. Skirmish, I guess you could say. Of 2017. Many more to come as I hang around spawn more and more often. But the more I hang around spawn, the more dangerous this place becomes for me. More people are going to be at spawn actively hunting me at all times. So I need to be really careful and on my toes. The elytra will help keep me safe to an extent. But if I'm on the ground actually fighting, things could get ugly. And I'm not fully prepared for combat against other diamond opponents. So I really hope things can go my way. Well, I guess that's all for today. So, I hope you all enjoyed the first 2B2T video of 2017. Many more to come, but I like to spread them out more these days. You know, give you a little better quality of video. Not like the old days where I'd be putting out three a day. So anyway, that's all I have to say to you all today. So thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. I hope. I hope.